Well, welcome everybody. My name is Ty Tribble. You can at Ty Tribble on Twitter or probably Facebook and, and, and find me all over the place. You can do the same <laughs> with James Hannon. Uh, we do tweet cool stuff um, and we Facebook cool stuff. So you want to check that out, feel free to do so. Tonight's um, topic, and we're going to jump right in. First of all, let me just say, um, you are with a really super cool company named Manatech, and I am too, and so is James. And the reason I say it's a super cool company is because there's very few companies who do um, this, who really um, allow you the opportunity to get the kind of content training that you're gonna get tonight. Um, so this is, a, let me do one thing. I'm gonna be right back. Talk while I'm gone, James. <laughs> yeah, no worries. You know, you're right, Ty. Many companies, leaders, individuals today, what they do is they run away from the whole concept of social media, even though today it's like the the the, the golden haired child network marketing. Right? I guess it's the holy grail of network marketing today. It really needs to be a big part of what we do. Um, because it doesn't report, because what happened is a little story. I love what Eric Worre says at Las Vegas. Loved Eric Worre, Ty. Far out, how good was he? But I can't believe he said, hey, Ty, in the middle of the meeting, dude, I'm, I'm, I feel like I was sitting next to royalty. Uh, seriously. <laughs> He's a great dude. Um, anyway, so, you know, what they, a lot of them do is they run away from it because they think, oh no, we have to throw the baby out with the bathwater if we're going to use social media, or if we're going to use any kind of online strategy, instead of going, hey, we can adopt it and we can mold it and we can shape it and we can enhance it and we can include it. That's when changes happen. And that's what Manatech has done. And it's exciting. Very, very exciting. Yeah, I mean, you have a company, first of all, if you have some uh, Glyco Cafe, take a sip. <laughs> you don't have yours yet, James? Oh, you, you don't have it in uh, Australia. Oh, oh I, ha I, I, have, I have my coffee, but I like what mine says. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I can't, I, I can't, I can't <laughs> wait for my Glyco Cafe to come into this cup. <laughs> oh, it is so great. Um, but, you know, Manatech is just sets itself apart from from so many companies out there not only from a product perspective but from a leadership perspective and everybody will always talk about oh you know leadership is so important and then they'll list all these things about a company and the reality is a lot of it is talk if you've been around this industry for for a bit and i would say that that one of the most exciting things is that manatech is not just talk it is it is real the products are real. They make impacts on people's lives every single day. Um, and, and when it comes to technology, they're smart enough to utilize today's technology and not push it, push it out and, and, and let someone else utilize it. Because the reality is um, someone is going to be making money utilizing technology today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some things that, that, that will get you so excited about where we are and, and what we're heading towards. So let's talk about content marketing. And I just laid this out as a, as a little bit of an explanation, but it's, it's really providing educational articles and content pieces. We're gonna talk about what content pieces are that separated us from the typical noise on social media, okay? So what do I mean by typical noise on social media? Basically, if you see people on social media who are kind of, uh, it, 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 I, I say this with all love, they're kind of just kind of pimping their deal. They're kind of just saying, buy my crap. <laughs> is that a technical term, James? I think it is. Um, in, in other words, it's all about me, 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 and my stuff and my company um, versus actually being in a position of, of trust in a position of, um, of, of leadership and in and a, and a situation where your folks are actually building a relationship with you. So it really is a, is a very, very different kind of situation. So we're gonna differentiate ourselves by not being the same everyday noise by my stuff and noise. On, on social media. 
we're going to put ourselves in, in, a, in a position of, of domination on a social, mobile, global level. So here's the vision. See if you agree with this. Thousands of people sharing content across multiple social media channels. Now, when I say thousands of people, obviously there's a lot more than, than thousands of people in, in, in Manatech as a company. But what if on your team there were thousands of people sharing stuff? How exciting would that be, James? Oh, man, you know, we did a little, and you were part of it, right? Remember what we did just before Manifest? You know, JP did a great thing over in South Africa where he got his team to do 90-day challenge accepted. And then it's, it's no Manatech names, nothing else on. It's just a, a, a viral opportunity. And then so what we did is a, we do a small segment of our team and did the same thing where they just put up a little A4 flyer and put up challenge accepted. And all of a sudden, all over Facebook, challenge accepted, challenge accepted, mm -hmm. challenge accepted. And the excitement, the, 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 um, awareness of what that hey something's going on who are these people grew and that's what it's about because there are, as we talk about there's two brands you've got the Manatech brand and then the Dior brand and this allows there to be a cross-pollination of both you and Manatech but at the same time not diluting who you are I mean here's the reality Manatech has the best products in the world and, and, and I've proven that over and over again by talking to people online and, and having people find me when, once they find out that I'm associated with Manatech, they're like, oh my gosh, those are the best products in the world. And, and, and people who are not even involved as an associate whatsoever in Manatech come to me and say, man, can I get that product? It has uh, made a massive, incredible impact and not only on their lives, but the lives of, of people they know, my uncle. My, my aunt, my grandmother had this, and, and, and you hear story after story after story after story about Manatech products. But here's the reality. If you're that guy on Facebook or that gal on Facebook that said, that, that's always talking about how great their products are, gang, you're, you're gonna miss the boat because the, the, the ship is gonna sail because you're not gonna have any friends left. People just don't wanna hear how great your products are because every single network marketing company says the same stuff. They all say they have the greatest products in the world. It's more often than not true with the exception of Manatech, but where does that put you? So if everybody is saying they have the best products and, and, and you say you have the best products, what does that put, what category does that put you in? Put you in the same category as everyone else who's saying they have the best products. And that's not where you wanna be. You wanna distinguish yourself from those other folks. And, and, and there's so many cool ways to do that. We're gonna dig into a, a couple of things today, but, but I want you to think about a, a secondary piece of that puzzle. And, and, and what I'm relaying here is, is this kind of ties into what to post on Facebook. And, and I, you, you'll never see me post Manatech the word on Facebook. And, and, and there's two reasons why. One is I don't wanna be that guy, okay? And, and two is that in today's world, unless you're, 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 you're incredibly clear about your intentions in that post, people don't understand that they would come to you for that product necessarily. They would go mm -hmm. to the natural place, which is amazon.com for that product. So if you say, wow, I tried this really great product and you think you're saying, come to me to check out this really great product. In reality, you're saying, go to Amazon and try this really great product. So that's why I never say my, my product name. I don't want people going to Google and Amazon to find that product because I want to tell the story of Manatech. I don't want the internet telling the story of Manatech. Does that make sense, James? It does. And let me tell, tell a little story around that. I was doing a social media day uh, up on the Gold Coast just before Christmas. And it was my team, right? 95% of the room was my team. It was open to everyone in Manatech, but 95% was my team. And uh, I was talking about this very subject that, okay, guys, you know I love Manatech, but I, I'm, I, I'm a Tic Tac packet. I rattle when I walk. I, there is nothing else I do. This is it. All of my eggs are in the same basket. I haven't drunk the Kool-Aid somewhere else. 
I like the Kool-Aid here. I love what we've got going on. And I said, you know, guys, and one of them said, well, you know what, James, I, I put on um, Facebook. Oh, sorry. I had two people this week go to Manatech and buy products and they were signed up by somebody else. Okay. Because that's what happens. They go to Manatech.com and they'll sign up by someone else. So they had to then call Manatech, explain what had happened because they spoke to their prospect. Then they had to, the prospect had, then they had to speak to the person who they were placed under. That person didn't know them. So it all worked out. Okay. But what would happen if the, if it hadn't have worked out okay. And then the next thing that happened, and here's the next thing, somebody else put up on Facebook, I love these products, these are awesome. And then somebody came and hijacked the the post, put down their testimony of the products, okay, that uh, that one of the, this person's prospect saw this person's testimony, they didn't even know them, contacted this person, and was going to sign up with them. Yeah. The only reason they didn't was because this person knew um, the, the top person and said, you know, you really should go back to them. And that's great. But then the guy in the front row said, if that had happened to me, there is no way I would have sent them back to you. So guys, exactly. there's wisdom in what we do. That's somebody calling me about Manatech products. I'm quite sure, but... I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so here's, here's what's cool. Think about your team and the content that they're posting on Facebook, because here's, here's what's cool. The average Facebook post is seen by 99 people. Okay. What if you have a team of a thousand people? James has a team of many more than a thousand people. What if each one of those thousand people, let's say, for example, posted one piece of quality content a day on Facebook. Wow. Now, when I say quality content, I'm going to, we're going to give you some examples and talk about this, but I'm talking about an article. You know, a, a, good, a good thing would be right now an article about ginseng or an article about uh, uh, coffee. Okay, so, so I subscribe to Apple News and Google News under search terms that relate to Manatech, not only products, but the business side as well too. The social mobile global stuff, the internet marketing stuff. So I can then share a lot of this stuff on my Facebook page. And when I do, people can start to interact and we can begin to develop that rapport and begin to um, build that relationship and move it from just people reading my stuff on Facebook into a, a place where we can then have a quality conversation. And that's really what this whole thing is about. Because here's what's cool, James, I, I think you're gonna love this. When you share helpful quality content on social media, people would begin to see you as helpful, okay? There, there's this thing called trust, right? <laughs> and if you're sharing junk on Facebook, always like, you know, crazy political stuff. And I mean, we're, we're not telling you what to share and what not to share on Facebook. Um, you're your own business. I'm, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to say anything. But if you want to um, anger 50% of your potential prospects and, and customers, post about the President of the United States. Okay because 50% of the people probably love that guy. And, and if you want to anger the other 50%, post about the other side. So politics is something I totally steer clear of, not because I don't have personal beliefs, I do. I would love to have a political conversation with you, but I just don't do it on Facebook because there's so many potential people are looking my way. My whole goal on Facebook is to educate people and, and make them laugh. If I can make people smile from reading my Facebook posts and think, you know, that's a pretty good guy. I like that person. So when, if, if I've made them smile, if I've made them laugh, if I provided some kind of educational content, something that improves the quality of their life in some, in some way, a recipe, could be anything. What happens when I contact them to discuss something else? How do they look at me? This happened with James and I. We were casual acquaintances online. He contacted me about something. He often liked my stuff on Facebook, which is 
which is another tip here, but we developed this thing called trust. And, and, and I knew that James had a big business. I, I knew that he knew what he was doing with regards to the internet. And, and he knew, uh, this is a big, uh, this is a huge tip. James knew to take his eyes off of him, himself. He's a tremendous leader. But he knew that if he edified someone else, and brought in someone else, a third party person for credibility that the whole situation would, would, would work differently. Because here's what's, what's so cool about bringing in a third party like your upline as an example. What can happen is that, like if I'm talking about myself to you on the phone, I pick up the phone and, I, and I'm talking to uh, someone on this call and, and I can't see the, the names right now, but just as an example, I say, hey, uh, Joe, I am so cool. You need, if you would have hung out with me in, in, in Vegas, it would have been awesome. And I do all this cool internet stuff and, <laughs> and it would have been awesome by the way. But anyway, um, and, and I'm, I'm a big deal. I mean, how does that sound if I tell you I'm a big deal, but I could potentially tell James or tell someone else that James is a big deal who happens to be my upline. Right. And, and, and so Bringing in that third party credibility enhances your level of trust. I thought for a long time that I had to be the big deal in order to make a lot of money. When I began to take my eyes off of myself and, and, and realize that, that I need to use the, 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 the people in my life who have a skill set that I maybe didn't possess at that time or that, that are just at another level. That, that you can bring in for, for some credibility. But, but that helps to build your trust. James, you want to add anything there? Uh, yeah, and, and the, the interesting thing is that the bigger you get, you still need somebody else to help you in that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I'm still using my upline Rod Gilchrist in certain things. I, and when I have to, I'll get someone from corporate to do mm-hmm. something for me. Um, and so it's, it's never, it never changes. And so it's like, and on social media, when you can get somebody else to share their story about you, there is, it's, there's nothing better. So one of the, an example of that is the testimony. Now it has to, now I want to put this in inverted commas. I want to highlight it, red, underline it. And I want you to know I'm shouting this. It needs to be compliant. And Joel has some great tips. And so does the compliance department on how to make a compliant testimony. You know, and there are some beautiful testimonies at uh, Manifest. So uh, if you want to stand out on Facebook, um, what do you do? And here's exactly what you do. You comment and like on stuff. Okay you comment and like on other people's stuff. And, and the reason you're going to stand out like a sore thumb is here's the reality. The average Facebook post gets about one like. Okay. And so if you are that one like for someone, you're going to make an impact on their life. They're like, wow, um, somebody likes me, right? <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I people go will to, notice. I go to the, sorry, but I do. I, I, I go to who likes my post sometimes. Yeah. You know, and I, and I have a look. Yeah. And, and people notice that stuff. You know, if, if you're liking someone that has 5,000 uh, friends, even those folks might notice. But the person, the average Facebook person, I think is like 300 Facebook friends. They're absolutely 100% going to notice. So you want your to stand out. So this is a two pronged approach here I'm talking about, and we're really getting to the meat and heart of Facebook. And and so I, I want you to hang on with us because I'm going to give you a you could call it a script, but I'm really more inclined to say a, a system. Okay, I'm going to give you a system for talking to people on Facebook. But before you do that, you need to to participate there. You can't just run to Facebook and, and think you're going to talk to all of your friends if you haven't posted a single thing in three years. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm, totally. Okay. So the average Facebook person gets one like. So after you have liked some stuff over a period of time, then it might be time to send a message. 
Here is my recommendation, okay? This is the icebreaker that I would recommend that you use. Hey, James, your posts made me crack up. Thanks, I needed that today. By the way, how's your day going? Okay, that is an, I mean, here's, here's let's break this down into the, into the psychology because one of the things I do wow. is I write emails to, to get people to do something, okay? And, and it's copywriting, it's a skill I've been working on for, I don't know, 15 years probably, 10 years at least. Uh, okay, 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 so number one. Oh, let me do this, this is cool, James, check this out. Ooh, can you see that? Oh, so jealous, I wanna be able to do that. <laughs> so the first thing is, I use their first name, okay? Hey James, right away, I mean, if, if someone says your name, you, people love to hear their name, right? Your post made me think of something cool. So let's say James um, was eating uh, Thai food at a restaurant. And I might say, James, you know what? Your post made me think of the time that I went to Thai food with my wife and, and spit water out all over. It's kind of funny, right? <laughs> I didn't actually spit. I ate Thai food with Thai. I was careful. Um, but might make you think of something that happened in your life, something cool, something fun, something whatever. It, doesn't, it could be anything, really. And, and then you say, and then you thank them. How many times a day do you think people get thanked for something they post on Facebook? Zero. <laughs> people do not get thanked for anything they do in life. They go to a job, they do their job every single day, eight hours a day, 10 hours a day. Does the boss thank them? Eh, if they're a good boss, yeah, maybe. But a lot of times, no. Okay, so you're doing some things psychologically to get to this point. By the way, how's your day going? So you're, you're, you're showing care to them. Here you're thanking them for the posts that they made. And, and here's the reality. Be sincere. Don't mm -hmm. run around copying paste the same thing to every single person that makes a post. Oh, your post made me crack up. And they're posting about where, what they're doing with their mother's ashes. That's probably not a good idea, right? <laughs> not, not the right thing to do. Be sincere. And that's why, you know, for me, I, I, I like the idea of um, a system versus a script. Okay, we're talking about a system. And, and, and it, by the way, we'll get you the slides here. So if you were desperately trying to scribe those out, we'll, we'll get them posted, I'm sure. Uh, ben will post them later on. So you, you make a response and then you, 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 you make a post or actually that would be a message to the, one of your friends and then you're waiting for a response, right? When you get the response, here's the next step. Okay, so they answered you and, and, and you asked them a question, how's your day going? Some people will probably not answer, it's okay. Gang, here's, here's, here's something you need to know. The best baseball players in the world get out seven out of 10 times. The best in the world. These are the guys that make 12, $15 million a year. They're the best in the world and they, and they, they fail seven out of 10 times. So if someone, if you send, you know, three Facebook messages and, and no one responds, it's okay. <laughs> right? You're going to survive. Okay. I'm not saying th there's a philosophy out there called go for no. Particularly, I don't care for going for no. I want to go for yes. I don't know that. If I thought about all the no's, if I focused in on all the no's that I got, uh, you know, over the last 20 plus years in network marketing, it, w it would be, I would not be a happy person. Okay. I like to think about the yeses. I like to think about the people who are interested in what we're doing. Okay. So how do, we, how do we ascertain who's gonna be interested? 
this is where we're talking about conversation is greater than script. Okay. Or the system that we're putting together here mm. is, is greater than time. the script. Uh, scripts yeah. are okay. I, I showed you a script earlier on to, to, as an icebreaker. They're important, especially when you're just getting started. Um, you know, I, I would have never been in network marketing if someone hadn't approached me with a script. And interesting enough, the network marketing prospecting is about your prospects timing, not your timing, by the way. Okay. What do I mean by that? I mean, when I got prospected for the, the, the profession of network marketing, someone used a script on me. I said, no, six months later, someone used the exact same script on me. I said, yes. What changed? Not the script because I respected both people equally. Okay. It wasn't about the, the credibility of the person. It wasn't about anything other than my timing. Okay. So again, think about what you have to offer. It's, it's amazing. Manatech is about to explode in the U S in other countries, in Australia, all over the world. And, and I'm telling you right now, we're seeing it in our teams. It, mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you uh, specifics about volume, but I will say that my volume today with like 12 days to go in the business period is more than, than my volume <laughs> typically was at the end of the business period uh, a few months ago. We are smoking hot. And we, I mean, collectively, Manatech as a, as a company, right? We are smoking hot. And so catch that fire, I'm telling you. So just remember, it's, 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 it's not your time. It's their time. So let's talk about this. This is something that I literally was taught my, like my first day in, in the profession of network marketing. It's called form. Family, occupation, recreation, and message. And it's an easy way to think of what to say to someone when you want to gather information. This is like information gathering time. And, and, and the reason I don't jump right into script here is I want to ascertain whether or not this person that I'm talking to has a want, need, or desire for what I have to offer. Remember the whole idea of going for no? Why I'm against it? Here's why I'm against it because you're wasting that other person's time and you're wasting your own person's time. If I get a no before I understand whether or not that person has a want, need, or desire for my business. If I, if I say, James, are you excited about Manatech? It's like, well, what? I have no idea. Let's get started. Let's, get, let's build a business together. I, I don't even know you. I don't even know what you're talking about. Who are you? No, I'm not interested. Okay, whose fault is that? That's not Manatech's fault. That's not your upline's fault. That's just spewing network marketing gibberish on a person in hopes that you find yourself a winner who's ready to go right now. We're yep. not in that game anymore. We're in the game of, of getting to know whether or not Manatech is a solution for that other person. Okay. Obviously we know products are a solution, but if you're talking to someone who's 700 pounds and they don't want to lose weight, Guess what? True health is not a solution for them <laughs> because they don't want to lose weight. Oh, but they need it. Well, everybody needs Amber Toast. Does that mean everybody's so going to um, take Amber Toast? No. Sorry, Ty, you, you, you nailed it. Like, right. And I, I, I sort of like, if you look at what Ty and I do on our pages, like on my page, I just put up a photo. I took a screenshot of this and I took a quote from what Ty, Ty just said. Conversation over script. Like, seriously, guys, do you get that? Um, like, I, I did a video this morning on how do you increase your ratios rather than your numbers? Numbers are important, right? Ratios, so it could be ratios, and it's everything that Ty is talking about right now. Because I was talking to one of my prospects on the on the weekend, they said to me, oh, "I want to lose some weight and all this sort of stuff." And I got chatting with them, so you're serious in that. And they said, "You know what? 
I'm more serious about being able to go out and, and enjoy and have a great lifestyle versus losing weight. And if it means that I've got to go on a cleanse program for 30 days and then lose weight, you know, in shakes for whatever, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really interested in that because I actually want to do this, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I, you know, been doing this for a long time and I've got all the comebacks and everything. But I can probably push a person to sign up, maybe. But if that's not what they want, just like what Ty just said, if they're not going to be committed because I haven't done the work, the foundation part, and that's the key, the foundation part, you're wasting your time. You're building a bad reputation for you and for the company, uh, and you're not having any fun. I hate go for no. I'll say it right now. It makes me sick. Like, I, I love people. I want to go to give them life. And uh, go for now is a numbers deal. Whereas I can, I can talk to people and build relationships and I can, I can encourage them and they'll come to me at one time or another. Um, sorry, maybe that's a bit too strong, but anyway. I love no, it needs to be said. I mean, it, 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 we, we go for that kind of philosophy in just getting them in the door. And then we wonder why the network marketing profession has such a high turnover. Has people just coming in the door and out the, out the back as quickly. So they buy one month and then they disappear. You wonder what happened to them. They were so excited. Well, it's because sometimes we are good salespeople and we sell them into something that maybe they're not completely into. Um, do I sell? 100% I do. And everything I do mm. all the time, I'm always yeah. selling. I'm selling to get my kid up in the morning. I'm selling to, to, to you know, um, make sure that he gets out the door on time for school. I'm selling to, to get my wife to go, to, you know, to, to the place I want to go eat versus the place she wants. Although she, she'll pretty much go anywhere I, I like to go. Rochelle's awesome. My kids. I mean, it's, it's, you're, you're constantly selling. If you think you're not selling, you're crazy. If you're thinking about selling, you're probably getting sold to right then, but that's another story. So conversation <laughs> over script. Family, occupation. So what do, you, what do I mean by family? Do you have kids? Uh, are, are you married? And, and things of that nature. Now, I would be very careful with male talking to female and asking yeah. them if they're married, okay? So Ooh, use these with some common <laughs> sense. Occupation. What do you do? You know, some people might even skip family and start with occupation, depending on, on, on who the other person is. Okay. Occupation could be business. Here's, here's something very interesting. I found that a lot of other network marketers are interested in Manatech products, even though they're involved in another company. And guess what? That's okay. I know. Okay. I'm not trying to convince them to, to join Manatech and build a huge business from the very beginning. If, if I can get them to order a product that they know is amazing, let's say, for example, someone is with a phone company business or whatever, um, or power or whatever, and they um, want to lose weight. I'm not going to, to live and die by whether or not that person joins me in my business as a Manatech associate. If they want to lose weight, I'm going to sign them up to lose weight with the best weight loss system on, on the planet, True Health. So you want to meet people. It comes back to that solution. Meet people where they are at what they are looking to accomplish. If, if someone is with a, a solar energy company and they want to lose weight, do not try to convince them to get rich selling Manatech products. Help them lose weight. And then you know what's going to happen? The products are so great. They're so amazing. They're going to join you down the road. Okay? It's a win-win. Recreation. What do you like to do for fun? Message. The message, I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to have you call your sponsor your, or, or your upline, maybe not your sponsor, but the leader on your team, and ask them what the message is. The message could be different from team to team, from country to country. My message might be, listen, I'm, I'm helping – to launch a new brand called True Health. Uh, I, not, I might not even mention True Health at that point, but it's, it's possible. I'm, I'm, I'm working to launch a new brand into 25 new countries between now and 2020. We're looking for a couple key people. 
whatever, whatever it might be, whatever your message is, okay, can, can, can differ from company to company. James, anything there, buddy? Yeah, and even though I said, and Ty said as well, we want to focus on relationship, not numbers, it's a combination of both. And remember that the better that you become at it, the faster you'll be able to move and the better your results will come. Uh, as with everything, just give it time, okay? But you have to start. Like uh, Ty and I, we've moved our teams into a time of massive action. New Complain starts in, uh, what, just over three months. Okay, yeah, three months now. And we don't, we want our market share and we want our market share to be big and not small, big. And so you get to choose what that market share is going to be for you. Um, you know, for me right now, every person, and not right now, every person that sends me a friend request, I start prospecting them immediately using Love the exact this. strategy uh, that, that Ty says. And now the, the, the message that I send to somebody is a, I don't, you know, sometimes I, I don't get back to everyone straight away, but I will always, when I, when I send them a message, it's, hey, thanks for your friend request. I, and I don't mean to be rude or I don't mean to be too upfront, but I'm just running a campaign at the moment for, for two campaigns. One is for people who are wanting to learn how to make money using the internet. And another is for people who are wanting to lose weight. We have some exclusive groups for those people. And I was just wondering, are you sending me a friend request uh, because of that campaign or was it just to say g'day? Either way is fine. I hope you have a great day. And without a shadow of a lie, okay, nearly everyone, I would say 95% of people say, yeah, both please. <laughs> <laughs> they they want to know about both pieces of information. And um, so it's a simple script. So that's, that's a point because they're coming to me when I can be very tactful, very gentle and very thankful that they're messaging me and straight away ask that question. And then with the, then what I'm doing now is we've got to funnel that. We're going to teach on that in the near future about, and I've, we've spoken about it at the boot camps and all that stuff where you take your prospect, put them into a group and then take them through that, that process of getting to know them. Um, but you know what? It, it, everything is about a pre, it's, well, everything's about relationship. You know, I was talking to Naomi yesterday. She was telling me about how one of the prospects in a group started to message her and she spent five minutes, 10 minutes just chatting with her, not about the products, just about chatting, right? And then got one of the other leaders involved and then the other leader, rather than spending time chatting, went straight for the phone number rather than building the relationship. So it's very important the relationship gets yeah. built uh, it's very important that you understand the flow, but what you have today can totally transform your life. Um, now, Ty, can you see chat messages at the moment or not? Are you able? Uh, I cannot because we have James here, a silver presidential in in Manatech. Um, I would be very open to a Q and A. We can do for a few minutes. We got a few more minutes on on the line. Um, take advantage of James' times. So I'm. Uh, you have a, a guy who not only has a big Manatech business, but also has, has done some amazing things online. So um, if we can answer any questions you might have, we're happy to do it. Absolutely. You know, Peggy just sent me a message and Peggy, you know what? That's an important thing. She just sent me that, you know, that she get, that be thankful you're a male. You don't get all these weird message requests. I want you to know, Ty, do you get those interesting messages and friend requests? All the time. Uh, well, I get Peggy probably five to 10 friend requests per day from gorgeous young women that are scantily clad asking me to be their friend and that they want to spend the rest of their lives with me. Okay. Um, every single day. So I just want you to know that that happens everywhere. <laughs> And um, it's, 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 you know, it's, that's part of it. So what I have to do, and Ty, I don't, know, I don't accept any of them. I know Ty doesn't either. I look at, I, so I look at the friend requests, I go to their profile, and immediately you can go, okay, this, this isn't real. This is some, 
greasy person sitting somewhere in another country trying to do something that's not real because the photos aren't real. It's not the real person. It's, it's someone in another country. Um, so, so I got a, that's a question, it. bud, uh, but yeah, oh, yep. men, men get it too, believe me. And so, you know, here, here's something that I learned a long time ago, block, delete, just delete, done, delete, you're done. Out of, out of, I don't even spend two minutes looking. I mean, 30 seconds to look at the, at the profile. That's a fake person. Delete, done, not accepted, out of there, out of mind, out of sight. Okay. Totally agree. Hey, hey, Wendy, this is a great question from Wendy. Do you want to answer that, mate? Or? So I'll, I'll read the question. So I get lots of friend requests a lot who are Manatech associates and many I don't know. Should I accept friends who I know are associates or should I be trying to get friends who are not associates? I think, James, we agree on this. Go ahead and take it, bud. Yeah, it's like, okay, here's the deal. I, I want to encourage everybody. Um, and now, Wendy, you've got a huge business. You're a platinum presidential. You're one of the top people in the world. Everybody's going to want to be your friend. The problem with that, your personal profile is your ATM. It's your cash machine. It's your ATM machine. You don't make money from all of these other associates. Now, if they're in your team, they should be your friend. If they're not in your team, you may want to set up a page. Now, Ty's got some great training on a Facebook page. You might want to grab that, okay? Uh, but it, you know what? You may want to stand up a face, set up a Facebook page, and keep your profile for your team and for your prospects. Everybody else that's in Manatech, send them to your page. So, like, you look at my friend, my friends list. Um, I only have probably three thousand friends. And you might say, only. Well, a majority of them are either my team or prospects. I don't really have, I, I'm very, exclu exclu uh, um, very, I, I try not to take too many friend requests. Now, at the moment, because I've got a, a training I'm doing, there are, friend there are friends that I have now on Facebook that are not in my team that ha I have to be my friend to put them into the group, but I'm going to actually I figured out another way of doing that because I don't want Manatech Associates as my friends. I'm going to drive everybody to my page, okay, which is not your profile. They are different. I know you know that, Wendy. That's for everybody else. Um, and when you get a friend request, send them a little message so that they don't feel like that you're ignoring them because of who you are. Just send them a little friend request. Send them a little message. Say, hey, John, hey, Mary, thank you for your friend request. Um, but I, this is my business profile that I use for prospecting, and I don't want you to get confused or upset with what I do here. So what I've done is I have a page now. Come on over to my page, and we can chat over there. You can see information. You can receive all my updates and all that stuff from my page. Anything else you wanted to add to that, Ty? I would say two things. So Wendy and I have spoken um, off of Facebook. So we are friends. And, and if someone, if you're a leader in Manatech and, and, and you're Facebook friends with another leader, I think that's fantastic. I love seeing where other, you know, presidentials yep. and, and those that's folks right. are going around the world. And I love supporting other leaders in Manatech as best I can. And, and if, I've built up any level of credibility over the last 25 years in the industry, and I can pass on a little bit of that credibility to another man and tech leader. I'm all for it. Um, and, and so I do become friends with other man and tech associates in that regard who are, who are leaders. Um, the other maybe bullet or, or, or asterisk might be folks who are brand new to Facebook, maybe don't have any friends whatsoever, or maybe 20 or something like that. Um, uh, becoming friends with other Manatech associates at that point might be a decent idea to build up some numbers and, and a little bit of, of momentum and credibility. Um, if you don't have any, any people on your Facebook friend, but you know, everybody knows people who are not on there. So probably again, your, your whole goal with your Facebook friends is to sponsor people. I mean, that's what my goal is, at least. Um, yeah. So you don't want to sponsor other other Manatech associates who are already in. <laughs> I think that's the the Definitely. bottom line. 
but yeah, but, but and, leaders and, understand that. And, and I think there's a different level of, I'm not saying respect because I think everybody has a level of respect. There's just a, a, a better understanding of why you would post something um, at, a, at, a, at those levels, maybe executive and above or whatever it is. Yeah. And, you know, Wendy, uh, you know, what, who you are, like I said, because of your profile in Manatech, um, everyone's going to want to be your friend. So you're going to want your real estate on Facebook is worth a lot of money to you. Uh, especially with what you're doing now as you're building your brand online. Cause I've been watching what you're doing and all of those things. You want to protect your real estate. You want to protect your, that, that, that 5,000 area group. And I know that a lot of people, a lot of trainers talk about you should have a page and everything should happen on the page. Let me tell you, your personal profile versus a page, um, I'm going, like, you want a page You as a leader, okay, as a big leader, should every associate have one? No, and we're not talking about that today. I'm talking, this is specifically for Wendy, who's a platinum presidential, guys. It's a different conversation, um, you know, or you're a massive online marketer who's been in the industry and made millions of dollars in network marketing like Ty. Okay. But I do not train my team to have pages until they are a, a large size leader. Um, but your profile is worth everything. Your profile should be protected as because you are, there's a lot more you can do on your profile, which I talk about in my training. Ty talks about in his training and it's important. Uh, did that help Wendy? Um, also, Wendy, I'd love to do a, a, an interview with you, I think, on one of these webinars, Ty, uh, where, mm-hmm. you know, because she's, she's built this massive organization offline and now is do- starting to dominate her niche online. And I'd love to get her thoughts on why she's doing that. So, Wendy, if you're up to that, um, that would be um, awesome. <laughs> Good on you, Wendy. <laughs> yep, she's on it. Cool. All right, gang, let me, uh, let's wrap it up, bud. I um, want to respect everyone's time. I got about five minutes to the top of the hour, so we've gone about 55 minutes so far. So thank you for coming on tonight. We are super excited, obviously, for next month's um, training and, and, and like to bring in. I've been, I've been out for a while, and there's a couple of reasons why we'll maybe explain in the future. But um, uh, thank you, James, for coming on and, and, and doing all the amazing training that you do, and, and I look forward to uh, – to uh, hopping on in the next one and, and um, helping folks out. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So guys, again, can I suggest that if you're looking at pages, if you are a leader, get Ty's training uh, on that. Um, yeah, anyway, just just do that. It'll be worth your while. Um, God bless Ty, you're rock star, man. Absolute rock star. And uh, <laughs> dude, bye everyone. All right, everybody, see ya.